Jo, was geht ab, liebe Leute? Willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Video auf diesem Kanal. So, der gute Angry Joe hat sein Review fertig gemacht zu The Last of Us Part 2. Und ich fand das wirklich mega geil, wahnsinnig lustig. Und ich würde sagen, es wird Zeit, dass wir uns das anschauen und ich meine Reaktion darauf gebe. Und ich würde sagen, liebe Leute, DJ, drop the track, checkt seinen Kanal aus, der ist wirklich mega geil. Von Angry Joe. Und ich würde sagen, let's go into this. Thanks to them for supporting us and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Check it out. Let's go. Okay, Ellie, we've been doing this a long time now. So, I think together we can survive. Hold on, we'll clip it. <laughs> wow, that was great. I'm so proud of you, girl. Thank you. you I think you can handle it. You could go off on your own. You think so? Yes, you could survive. Wow. And together, I think that we can handle anything. Yeah. Yeah. She. Hello. Um, I'm Joel, and this is Ellie. We're living in Jackson, and she might actually be part of the cure. Nice to meet you. Oh! <laughs> 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 I don't know who you are or where you went, where you're from, what you look like anymore because I forgot. But I have a certain set of skills or how the fuck you got so big. But I will seek my vengeance. Das Intro war mega geil, muss ich zugeben. Das Intro konnte definitiv irgendwas. Das war geil. You done fucked it up. <lacht> now, now, now. Before everyone rushes to call me sexist, transphobic, intolerant, or as IGN would like you to believe, a basement dwelling virgin, simply for not liking certain aspects, not all aspects, but certain aspects <laughs> of this apparently 10 out of 10 game, 100%. Let me at least fully explain why. I love, 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 love the first game, The Last of Us. For Christ's sake, I gave its remaster on PS4, one of my few 10 out of 10s ever. A legendary rating, legendary status, and earns a 10 out of 10, making... Der erste Teil war auch der beste überhaupt. Der erste Teil war geil. Das ist 10 von 10, 100 von 100. Der erste Teil ist... Woo, baby! This the fourth game ever to earn my highest rating, and it's... It deserves it. It was the best on PlayStation 3, and it is literally the best on PlayStation 4 right now. Oh, 100%. Why? Because this game had strong characters, a compelling story within a genre I'm tired of. It was extremely well written. The bond between Joel and Ellie was a formula that was fantastic. It had so many unforgettable moments. This is what we loved. The pacing, perfect. I, I empathized so much with the characters that we found ourselves literally crying. Dang, son. Ah, yeah, that was the scene where Sarah, uh, where Sarah was gestorben ist. Yeah, klar, Joel's daughter. Als ich das zum ersten Mal gesehen habe, musste ich auch weinen. Es war so extrem. Es war wirklich krass. Es war der krasseste Moment seit langer, langer Zeit. Ich glaube, der krasseste Moment seit Walking Dead Season 1. Könnte sein. 
And one mission! Well, there's none of that shit here, even when they're supposed to be. And now, <laughs> much of the things that made this previous game so great are now things that don't hold up here. They demolished the relationship that made that first game so strong. And we are left disconnected from the characters we love for so much of the game. Now I'm gonna dive more into this in an, an extended spoilers discussion, but as you can tell from the opening parody, it's out, the cat is out of the bag, okay? So if you wanna strap in for the ride, know that there may be some spoilers here. And first, let me address this. No, it's not because of a certain person dying, Joel. It's how a character's death is executed. And that's just one case. How Ganz genau, es geht nicht darum, dass Joel stirbt, sondern wie er gestorben ist. Das ist unser Punkt die ganze Zeit. Was, Baby Bars? How believable is it? How does it come about? Was it set up properly? How much agency does it have? Does it make any sense? Nein. In this case, it makes barely any. Ganz genau. Do you live nearby? We do. A few hours down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock before we head out. Tommy, this is my brother. Felt like like you heard of us or something. And and we're gonna play as Abby some more? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, this is the thing. I like, no, I don't fuck I don't Abby. Wanna I don't wanna as play as this. This is exactly as I thought it was. <laughs> fuck this. It could have been executed far smarter. Oh, hey, look, we're outnumbered five to one. Uh, I'm Tommy. This is uh, my brother Joel. Joel Miller, if you were wondering. Miller. Uh, we're currently out of bullets. Uh, we're just from down the hill, Jackson. We've got a fully functioning hydroelectric dam. Do you guys like power? We got we got one of those. Uh, we've got 35 <laughs> guards, mostly on patrol between 10 and 4. That's probably when we're most vulnerable. Um, I have a fear of spiders. He doesn't like snakes and golf clubs. Uh, his daughter figure is immune to the infection. I don't know what you would do with that. If for some reason he was to die, I don't think I would want to come after you. I think I'd be really reluctant, you know, the whole cycle of violence thing not being very good. But later on, to drive plot, I would be really gung-ho about this daughter figure coming after you, abandoning her brand new family, which would kind of spit in the memory of Joel. Joel would never want that for her, but I guess spitting on Joel is the whole point of this game, right? Right. It is. <laughs> Joel's death is so undeniably rushed that the rest of the game to me started to become boring, predictable. You know where it's going right out of the gate. So now what we're going to do is the rest of the game, we're just going to do a revenge plot. Well, it's only half of the rest Washington. of the game. Remember the other half we play as Abby. Stupid face for killing Joel. I'm gonna murder her. Found an old tourist map. Well, that is until they throw another gotcha and ruin yet another character at the end. You're like, well, what the fuck was the point in this then? What? Are you out, are you out of your mind? I've been waiting seven years in order to be able to re engage with these characters and when they come here they're nothing like the characters that we know they're done poorly they're focusing on completely different characters that i don't give a shit about that you didn't introduce properly to make me care about them in the best way possible and i'm playing more with them than i am with the characters that i've been waiting to play with and then at the end of the game the characters that i wanted to play with are destroyed they're gone they're nothing they're broken or dead all of them are yes, broken get up. dead and all the new characters that you that i like in this game are dead and gone and broken are you, are you out of your mind and if that's the point of the game then okay i'm still gonna be upset and no it's not about how the protagonist looks either abby having huge muscles no in fact ultimately upon playing it that is one of the things we loved most about her holy fuck oh my god <laughs> That is fucking hilarious. Just stomping them dead. Ah! Fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't a bird fuck fight. A <laughs> what you want? You want some of this? Some I'm gonna pile up here, so fuck you. I'm gonna get good at dodging, bitch. Fuck you. Ah! 
despite it not making much sense in this world. What the nice. fuck? Look at that. Uh, Look at this complex. He's a little too excited That's why I have so swell. I mean, this football. is like the most state-of-the-art okay. football complex. Dallas Cowboys. Wait a minute. I made that joke. Fuck the Cowboys. Joke? They're literally in the Dallas Cowboys compound. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she got champions. so fucking jacked. It says champions. It can't be it. the Cowboys. It can't oh, yeah, be the Cowboys. Well, we were you don't know what year. Five-time Super Bowl champions. So you, you don't know, know what shit year. about football. Yeah, well, fuck the Cowboys. It was in history. Long, long. Just like Patriot history. So America's team, I guess. But Abby's gameplay is fun as hell. <laughs> Fucking one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep. Try <laughs> 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 to attack my friend. You Fuck piece of up. shit. Hey, no. Do not. This is me and him. That was amazing. The one hit. <laughs> I just don't really care about doing it. Other than for that pure raw spectacle. Ganz genau. Wie? Das Gameplay mit Abby war nicht schlecht. Es war eigentlich relativ auch gut, aber niemand hat interessiert. Das ist das, was wir die ganze Zeit gesagt haben. Niemanden interessiert das. Das war der unnötige Nebenquest. <laughs> Listen, the problem is that we did not wait seven plus years to play as Abby. I don't wish we made an Abby game, just not Guys, this one. up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, if she was starring in her own like Spec Ops game, we'd like... Yes. We'd Especially a character that kills one of our most beloved Characters, flawed or not. Joel! Tommy! We didn't <laughs> want to return to the story only to see our characters butchered and broken and left worse by someone the writers want us so desperately to care about instead. So much so that they will pull emotionally manipulative things clearly to make it happen. David Barry Abby off. gets all oh, the wait, attention. Wait. What? What is this? Abby. This is Abby. It... Fuck. No. <laughs> Good congratulations. Early. I don't even know how to play. Fuck this. Yeah, right now, right there. Let me jump. Press this. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> jump. Oh, there you go. I'm just running. <laughs> what? You guys are fucking leaving me? I don't want to play this shit. <laughs> Abby gets everything, and Ellie gets nothing. It's like you can clearly see the bias. Hello, ladies. Thank you for showing up to the design meeting. I'm Neil. Uh, I just wanted to introduce our new character, Abby. Uh, I, I think the audience is going to love Abby. Everybody's going to love Abby. Uh, so I want to make sure that we all give Abby her due. So, in fact, uh, uh, Abby, I got some exclusive features for you. You're going to have the small med kit at the beginning of the game, but later on, you're going to have the big med kit. In fact, Abby, you know, I was thinking about doing dual wielding, you know, guns. Or maybe I'll take that feature out. But you know what? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll just give you the guns anyway. In fact, you know what? Why don't you just take all the best guns <laughs> in the game? I got Molotov cocktails. I got all sorts of really good stuff for you. Well, what do I get? <laughs> Shut up, Ellie. Nobody's talking to you right now. This is about Abby. Not everything is about you. But that doesn't even make sense. Can okay, I at least get a medikit? You know what? You're going to have to bottle of piss, Ellie. Now shut up. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't care. Nobody cares. <laughs> right, we'll just give you all the old weapons uh, that <laughs> Ellie had in the last game. You're definitely going to need one of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so everything's going to be great. Hey, I don't know. Here, here, take a napkin, too, just in case you might need it. What? <laughs> Would you say, Ellie? Nothing. Stop being selfish. This isn't about you. This has never been about you. Someone's not going to be in Last of Us 3. <sighs> <laughs> no, I got some plans for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so guy. Cool. We play as her for nearly 12 hours, which is almost identical to Ellie. She gets all the best guns, equipment. She gets to pet and play fish with the doggos. Hey, Alice. Oh, such a good dog. It'd be horrible if 
someone ever killed you. You want to pet her? Yeah. yeah. See? They are trying so, so fucking hard. Instead of killing them, like Ellie. <laughs> oh my god. I don't ever want to do that again, Joe. This is your segment. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, Joe? I had to. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, ah, this oh, scheiß Hunde. Woo! Fuck this game. See? I'd be good. Ellie bad. Please, please, please like Abby. Uh, I think she wants you to throw it. Yeah, mit oh. Abby, hast Abby. So ist das. Yeah, he's so fast. So fast. Go this is so fucking manipulative. <laughs> mm. Don't go. Can I do it again? Doggy. I love that. That dog will play fetch. Do girls. Eight hours a day. Do you like her yet? Do ya? Do ya? Sorry. <laughs> Dugers. Dugers wants you to play now. Okay. Sorry, dog. I can't play with you right now. Hey! Dog said, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> it's like this half of the game is a completely separate game. She gets this pointless love story that leads to some serious cringe and an honestly uncomfortable, abrupt sex scene that like comes out of nowhere. <laughs> What's going on in the scene? What the fuck? Oh, nicht das schon wieder. Oh Gott. Nicht das schon wieder. What about me? Oh, no, wait, hey. <laughs> what about hey, no, hey, hey, whoa. <laughs> what, hey, I don't want to see it. No, wait. Whoa, wait, hey. Hey, 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 oh, whoa! Why are you fucking as a goddamn sexy? What the fuck is this shit? What? I, so, what? Ich erinnere mich daran noch. Boah, es war so widerlich. Huh. Am I fucking crazy? <laughs> was that his idea? And then she killed Joe. Like I was supposed to fucking care about their relationship. Oh, and he's with Mel. From behind, like what the fuck? Cheater. He's a cheater. He's That's a cheater. Oh. Yeah. Doesn't Sony not allow sex scenes in any of their games? They ban a ton of games from other That's regions right. too for any sort of nudity. Yeah, but... like they can't even show fucking panties and shit. But this is art. So Neil Druckmann must have had to gone to bat yeah. hardcore. He's like, no, Abby's getting fucked. And I don't care. I want to see Abby get fucked from behind. I want her doggy style. And we're, they're like, whoa, whoa, uh, Neil, man. I, I'm not sure. I mean, Abby killed Joel and, uh, I mean, maybe that's not a great idea. No, she's getting fucked, bro. All, all right. Yeah, it's mega strange. I don't know why this in the game was. So at every turn, we are told that our old characters are bad and see the good in the new characters. Like Manny, who mercilessly kills, spits on our father figure and says, Pendejo every five seconds. Pendejo! 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 Oh, it's a review, but it's a bad one. Or Danny. Who's Danny? Yeah, we don't know either. <laughs> Das hab ich auch gefragt, ich hatte auch gar keinen Plan, wer er ist. Which one was Danny? I don't know who it is. Where's Ellen? I don't fucking know, because we don't care about these people, that's the thing. That's <laughs> Danny, no! <laughs> oh, what? Wait, wait, who? <laughs> or Owen, who is a two timing creep, a cheater. Or how about the dumbass pregnant lady who insists on going to the front lines of combat with a fucking unborn child, and everyone in this dumbass crew is okay with it and agrees with it? I want to say fuck this lady for going out into a combat mission while pregnant. Really? Pregnant. You are fucking stupid. It's true. Hey, um, I know. Look, look at all of these other people in this forward base. Not a single one of them could have took her place. Really? Yeah, there's a thousand no, people. that there. is Neil Druckmann writing, I want a pregnant lady on the front line. Really? Okay. 
Here we go. You literally slammed your fucking baby up against a goddamn chain. <laughs> the fucking cage. <laughs> You want to do right by these kids? Get Wait. out of their lives before you screw them over. Wait, you're going you're gonna to talk to us about doing right by kids? Get the fuck out of here, you bitch. You're over here running around with your pregnant ass on combat missions with some fucking zombies and some fucking scars and some fuck. Stay your ass at home until you get birth. You dumb fuck. <laughs> these new characters are pieces of shit. Right. You're a piece of shit. Abby. True. You want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> starts, I will knock you and that baby out right now. <laughs> and they tell us our old characters are just pieces of shit now too. Sure, Joel wasn't a saint, but no one is in this world. We cared for them anyway. You made us care for them. And the new characters they introduce in Jackson, like Dina, they're okay, but mostly uninteresting. And Tommy, Tommy acts really off the entire game. He's not himself, and he gives up way too quickly, which doesn't make any sense considering the end. Ellie doesn't even pick up the damn PS Vita. Verstehe ich auch nicht. Eine PS Vita wäre doch geil gewesen zu diesem Zeitpunkt. Is there a PS Vita? We're in the hospital. They're clearing out the other. Oh, gave you. Bitch, I was giving you a free pass. Who the fuck does that? Nobody does that. Okay, so whatever. She's got more pressing matters. But come on, you put that shit in your backpack. I also don't buy that Ellie's not picking it up and putting it in the pocket. Going, right, mm. that is fucking stupid. I would. Ellie loves that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. This is a new Ellie, Joe. Oh, right. Dark. And she doesn't like anything or anyone. It's dark, son. Fuck you, you found another pun book? Yes! Trick fucking master! What I say to you when we walk down the steps? What I say? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. Don't touch. God damn it. The writing in this game is laughable. The coincidences, the plot armor, time and time again, major characters are about to be killed, and suddenly they're not because they get distracted and a new character is introduced and then that happens once and then it happens again. It's just five seconds later and then again. So they let both of and, them live? And you didn't fucking yep. earn it. And then they let, it, it does not make sense. No, I'm not. What the fuck? Like, what did I fuck up now? <laughs> get the other, don't lose her, go! <laughs> Supposed to be out looking for the other one. Plot armor. The fuck is this? this Chip right there. Yeah, the smuggler that we kill all trespassers. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Can, kill can you just think for yourself for a quick Jordan, second right now? Get out of my way. <laughs> Nina! <laughs> shoot, shoot her. Shoot her. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, she's it. Shoot them. Come here. Dina! Over and over and over. This kind of stuff punches you out of the story. And I'm sorry, when my suspension of disbelief is broken, I, I was trying my best to get it back and to get back into the story. But with its off pacing and flashbacks within flashbacks, I was never able to. Get out of us. Yeah. The one guy Jordan kicked my face in. So? Yeah, but why do you think that they didn't finish it the- It doesn't matter. <laughs> up. They did. <laughs> and all of this is done in the name of subverting our expectations. It's as if Neil Druckmann had no idea what to do with the story, son. He's like, do the story, and I don't know what to do with the story, and I need help. I need help. Where am I going to give help? Yeah, the guy can't have something with the story. I can do this. No, the pressure. It's too much pressure. Oh, God damn it. Everybody loved the first game. 
My characters are so well written and smart. I don't know what to do for the sequel. I don't know if I should make one. <laughs> I used up all my good side characters. Oh, we ended on such a good note, too. How do I <laughs> continue this? What would the greats do? Shock the audience. Then you don't need strong writing. <laughs> and plot armor. Lots of plot armor. Make characters drive plot through stupidity and random events, like Picard. Most importantly, subvert all expectations. But the expectations are a satisfying and believable story. I said subvert the expectations. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll subvert their expectations! I'll subvert all their expectations! <laughs> <laughs> the story is simply told in a jumbled mess to make matters worse. There are some good flashback scenes, some amazing ones. Mainly, you know, the ones that have Joel and Ellie. Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! <laughs> Don't jump! Just climb down. Ah! Hey, hey, hey! But then there are flashbacks within flashbacks that are within flashbacks. No, that are in a timeline that is in the past trying to catch up with the timeline that you just played previously with another character. And frankly, it's too much. And, and, and sometimes it's boring. Mm -hmm. This game is exactly the same gameplay from the first. And so it gets repetitive a little quicker as you're literally doing the same things you were in the first game, like scavenging for half of the game. Look, I like it. I liked it the first time. And it's still fun here to craft and get all the materials and to find stuff. But where's the innovation? That was fine in the first game because it had a much more compelling story to get you through. This one does not. And it adds nothing. And frankly, I just do not give a... Das ist ja auch das, was ich gesagt habe. Das Gameplay hat sich im Prinzip null verändert. Das ist dasselbe, was du im ersten Spiel gemacht hast. Du suchst Sachen, baust Sachen zusammen und das war's. Also wirklich Innovatives war da nicht dabei. Das ist auch das, was ich gesagt habe. Shit about Abby and her crew. No matter how many dogs she pets and how many sex scenes of hers were thrown in. You know what I do give a shit about? Joel? Ellie? Happy Birthday, Kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. I do okay. Hmm. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the infection? Jackson? How people live in this world? How did their limited resources do against a horde migration that we keep hearing about? Imagine it crashing in the walls. Uh, is the cure still possible? How would that be implemented without a tyrannical power struggle and, and, and one group hoarding the cure and becoming evil? You know, shit that you made us care about in the last game and then completely abandoned so that you could teach us some hollow lesson that senseless killing is bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you just, you killed. Yeah, Abby. do it. There's no reason. It's been like so with my You're so fucking pissed off. You let her go once, she kills your friends. This is drivel. Absolute drivel. Only that lesson rings hollow. Das macht auch gar keinen Sinn. Das kill perhaps the entire das gar keinen Sinn ergeben. Of Seattle. Major several side boss characters we kill. Hell, even characters that have nothing to do with Ellie's ultimate goal of revenge, we murder anyway. But then suddenly, we're gonna pull a 180 at the climax. <laughs> no, no, thank you. you also das, was ich ja gesagt habe, die tötet unzählige Leute, ne? Aber dann im ultimativen Fight sagt sie dann, ja, scheiß drauf, egal, ich lasse dich gehen. Es macht gar keinen Sinn. You couldn't even give us the payoff that's due, or give us the choice. 
It is a wholly unsatisfying ending, and you've essentially wasted my time and the time of everyone else with that dribble. And if there is no Last of Us 3, and this is literally the end of the series, what, what? Well, we get, we're getting a I'm TV getting, show. Um, we're getting a TV show, we're not getting a game. So they're gonna be focusing. TV show just to retell the, sta the same stupid fucking story? Why is the person that we connected with so fully in the first game, given less than five minutes? Five minutes of meaningless game time. Less than five minutes. Are you serious? I mean, that borders on false advertising from the ads that we've seen. Mm -hmm. Wait, wouldn't giving Joel more make the rest of what happens in the story more powerful? And we are supposed to applaud these choices as bold and brave. Well, I think they're just stupid. Stupid, lazy, manipulative, and contrived writing that boils down to nothing more than a vanilla revenge is bad story when this universe can do that and so much more. Is this the point where Druckmann was weeping at his own game? <laughs> you know how many females we've killed in this game? Any one of them could have been in the early stages of pregnancy. <laughs> It's just at a certain point in the game, and you know what happens, I wanted nothing more than for Abby to fail, and I tried my best for that to make that happen. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the way the story ends. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Ellie and Joel live happily ever after. Hey, guys. It's a uh, good game. I give The Last of Us 2, <laughs> Part 2, a 10 out of 10. I did not expect that story at all. I gotta <laughs> say, None of that is really <laughs> fucking brave from Neil Druckmann. <laughs> I, I take back everything I've ever said. I, no, I, could. Been... <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy this game. I think you guys need to go out and check it out. It's very bold. <laughs> It's very bold. I like the twist at the but end. Yeah. <laughs> did you? <laughs> oh I, I did not I, expect that. Expectations subverted. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if we did it. Wow. You literally find yourselves rooting for these poorly written characters to die. Because either they are boring, they're shitty people, poorly written, or if just to stop their section of the game and get back to, I don't know, Ellie's story? I thought this was Ellie's game. You know, what we've been waiting for. Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Do it, Joel. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Texan. Geronimo. Look, and I'm not saying that they couldn't do the story this way. Please, please don't dismiss. Oh, it, 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 it's just that in, maybe it would have worked, played out differently, told better, in a different order. Like maybe we could have played as Abby first, play as a child. Let us build up this muscle mass to avenge this traumatic event that the audience isn't aware of and has never shown until it's too late. Ellie could get pissed at Joel like she does here the whole fucking game, which what, and then sets out on her own game. And, and at some point crosses paths with Abby, and these two save each other and build a friendship, and they are the duo that we play and care for just as we did Ellie and Joel in the first game, and then, and then later Abby can find out who they really are and who Joel really is. BAM! Hey, they were mega geil gewesen then von a thing happens, and Ellie's world is rocked. That would have been compelling. That would have had real drama. Mm -hmm. This. Right here in the beginning of the first hour, it just has, it's just shock, shock factor for pure shock factor, completely missing its own point that it's trying to make. Mm -hmm. And I came up with that in five minutes. And you're telling me in seven years, this is what they did. It was, it's not earned. It's a fucking, it's fucking bullshit. Okay. I guarantee you in the last of us part three. No. 
They're gonna kill Ellie. And she find no, but in the, the like she's gonna eat something, find out she's allergic to peanuts in the first five minutes, <laughs> and then she's gonna die. And then they introduce a new character, and then she's like, "You've played this person now." It's it's a uh, fucking uh, Karen. They're gonna introduce oh, motherfucking Karen. Karen in The Last of Us Part <laughs> Three and replace fucking Eb <laughs> Ellie with the way this shit is fucking going. Hell. To hammer my point home about revenge is bad and an internal conflict, Abby, why does Abby never show remorse? She gets to do anything she wants to do. She gets everything she wants and she's never bothered by it. She's never conflicted, she doesn't care. Maybe showing pain from this event, her internal conflict afterwards, nothing that Abby, she, nothing has shown that Abby regrets what she did or she questions her motivation at all at any point. Nope, she's just, she's happy, it's great. Awesome. It's revenge is good for Abby, but not for Ellie. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. What? Are you out, are you out of your mind? Now, my rant is over, but I will give the game this. This is some, it's not all bad. This is some of the best graphics I have ever seen on a PS4. God damn, this game all. is so I beautiful. I can't shut up about that look good. Like that look good. Ah, the graphic is mega good. Graphic, woo! Can't say things wrong. It's beautiful. Oh shit! Fuck. I'm okay. Come on. That's some little fucking mud, man. I don't think it can get any better on this hardware. It is so damn impressive. My bad. Excuse me, woman. <laughs> Guys, seriously, look at that fucking snow. Mm -hmm. Do you see that shit? That is some impressive fucking shit. Even the fucking, like, flakes and, and cracks and, and chunks. It looks great. There are seamless transitions between gameplay and cutscenes. There is very little loading. The animations are absolutely flawless. I can't see grass. Look at that. That grass move, man. That's some nice ass fucking grass. I finally get to be like a raptor. Yeah, clever girl. The detail is insane. The first real gameplay segment. Is Abby. I just love the way the ground <laughs> breaks. Did you see that? It was good. It actually pull, pulled back the bolt. Did you see that? The AI of the enemies are incredibly smart. So many games I review get this wrong. It is one of the best AIs I've seen in a while. They rush you, they flank when they're supposed to, they flush you out, they use combined arms. It is exhilarating at times. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. No, up. I knew it. Or maybe you can't get it in. Oh! Is that a flanking maneuver? The AI just pulled a flanking maneuver on guy. Joe. That's a girl, yeah. Joe. Don't be oh. sexist. <laughs> That's an equal opportunity piece oh. right there. Oh. oh, you're being flanked, Joe. Why are you? Again. What are you, you doing? Look at the red indicator. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I thought my partner was doing something. No. However, that same smartness, for some reason, does not apply to your AI companions. Dina, Jesse, Lev, etc. This is getting your way too much and they feel even more useless than Ellie could be sometimes in the first game. Oh yeah, Dana was ja mega schlecht, ne? He had gar nichts gemacht, glaube ich. Dana. Dana. Dana, what the fuck? She no test. Fuck you game. No, that's not funny, chat. Fuck. That's not Wait, funny, chat. I don't chat. get my Molotovs back? No. What? Oh, because the oh, people yeah. are dead. It's amazing. It's exactly what I want you to do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> now that's fun. Uh, now that's fun. First, you're my fucking way. I can't throw a box up. You don't tell me. There's a clicker behind me. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> Now the collectibles in the game, they can be cool, but they're easy to make fun of uh, when the heroes are stupid. Is it a trading card? Like, yeah, it is. Kennard Esquire. We found one. 
A brilliant lawyer with a stringent adherence to the rule of law. Can She's a good lawyer and has her friends on speed dial. Yeah, whatever. And that makes her a hero, Joe. <laughs> what? Yeah. I got my friends on speed dial? <laughs> you, know, you, you didn't know that, Joe? That's what it takes to be a hero. Is that... Uh, 2020. Is it... It's more like a business card. Here's my business card. I'm a great lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, even Neil found himself a way to put himself into the game. I know people say he's Manny, right? And I would agree symbolically that this is what Neil has done to the franchise and characters show it. My character now. <laughs> and then there's Neil. Right but Manny is actually played by a completely different voice actor, Alejandro Ada. It's not the same person. Burn. You know what? This is good. You two need a bump. Shut up, Manny. Yeah, everyone hates you, Manny. Everybody hates you. The guitar mini game is cool. I've seen people do amazing things with it. But to me, it was just an outlet of my frustration by then. And the game pisses me off to no end. Neil Druck. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzles are mostly gone here. Just tell me one innovative feature brought to the game here. Oh, you could prone. You can prone now. Oh, shit! So your gameplay is always, always the most entertaining. And in between these sections, you pop pills like a bodybuilder on steroids shooting up. I guess teaching kids that drugs are good. Hey, Captain America did it, so why not Last of Us? I mean, we need some reason for Abby's insane gains that make even other Joe blush. Her arms are so big, they're health indicators. Literally. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? Bro, you can tell how much damage Abby has taken from her arms, man. Her health indicator is her arms, dude. Hey. <laughs> the more blood you got on her arms, the more bullets damage you're taking. Fucking help! Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, Abby! And why can I not pick up anyone else's gun that is far better than your piece of shit bolt action in this world? Yes! Oh, I'm gonna get a better gun! Yeah! Yes, Ellie, pick up the gun! Yes, pick up the gun! You drop that bolt action <laughs> and pick up the assault rifle! No! No, Ellie, put the bolt action down now! Drop that! Drop it! Drop, no! Drop the assault! Drop the bolt action! Yes! Now pick up the assault rifle. Oh my god, hell yes. Oh my god, this is gonna be so fucking awesome. <laughs> Dude, we are going to fucking kill. Yes, take it. Take it. Oh my god, this is Ellie. Ellie, what are, you, what are you doing, Ellie? No, no, what are you doing, Ellie? No, Ellie, do not pick up. No, do put that bull action <laughs> down. Ellie, pick up the motherfucking assault rifle. <laughs> By the end of The Last of Us 2, I just didn't care anymore. And that, that sucks. I, I don't care about the characters left in the story, I don't care about where she's going, I don't care about what that other character's doing. I just don't care. Maybe The Last of Us should have stayed The Last of Us, or The Last of Them. Uh, the, and yes, the critics are gonna scream at me. You didn't understand, Joe. That no, that's exactly what it is supposed to be. It is explained. It's explained. Just because something is explained does not make it good. Yep. In so summary, those. I think the game has problems with its story, pacing, and characters. Really important things, and the ending, stuff that matters to the franchise. Now Ellie walks off alone 
broken, a completely different person, unlikable, nothing was resolved, Joel's death was not done any justice. Broke uh, a promise to Tommy. Broke a promise to Tommy. A Abby's story and love story, pointless. Uh, I, I, I'm, I, 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 I'm <laughs> too tired. Are you, are you out of your mind? <laughs> the Last of Us 2 gets half of everything right. So right, in fact, that these are the best in the business, doing the best graphics, the best environments, the best animations, AI, and more in the industry. But unfortunately, the story group, the characters, the writing, the pacing of how it's told, and the ultimate conclusion make all those things feel like hollow victories here. Oh my god, but is it beautiful. The final verdict for The Last of Us Part 2 is a 6 out of 10. I would say a 5 average, but it gets those first things so, so right that it gets that small edge from me pushing it. Da bin ich auch bei 5 von 10, 6 von 10. Das ist auch das höchste, was ich geben kann. Höher komme ich aber auch nicht. Muss ich zugeben. Aber auch nur weil Grafik, Animation und so weiter rausreißt, sonst wäre ich auch tiefer gegangen. But this game had so much more to live up to. When its previous game got 10 out of 10, we deserve better. In this franchise, I expect better. Neil took a gamble and in my opinion did not stick the landing. It honestly hurt my excitement for the future of which I have no doubt that they're going to continue to milk. We're going to see a part three. And I'm just not looking forward to it. Me Until neither. then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. Muss ich zugeben, Fenstern, das Last of Us Part 3 geben wird. Oh mein Gott. Ich hoffe nicht, ich hoffe, er lässt das sein. Ich hoffe wirklich, er lässt das sein. Der zweite Teil war wirklich unglaublich scheiße. Ich habe gesagt, ähm, 5 von 10, 6 von 10 ist das, was ich höchste, was ich geben kann. Wie die ganzen 10 von 10 und 100 von 100 zustande kommen, ich habe gar keine Ahnung. Aber er hat gesagt, dasselbe, was ich schon gesagt habe. Story ist ein Problem, Pacing ist ein Problem, Charaktere sind ein Problem. Also alles ist ein mega mäßiges, mäßiges Problem. Das ganze Ding ist für mich eine Wahnsinnsenttäuschung. Da muss man zugeben. Aber eine Wahnsinnsenttäuschung. So, die Leute, soll es gewesen sein. Bis dahin. Haut rein. Und tschüss.